Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own Amazon affiliate website inside of Google Sites. So if you didn't know what Google Sites is, Google Sites is a structured wiki and web page creation tool included as part of the free web-based docs editors suite offered by Google. So what that basically means is you can create a website inside of Google Sites very easily and if you're trying to set up an Amazon affiliate website, this can be the perfect tool to use. So let's get started. To start with, you first want to type in Google Sites and just click on this first link here. Now you want to make sure you have a Google account already. So if you don't, just go ahead and sign up for Google and then create an account. So once you're logged in, it will look a little something like this. And at the top, it will say start a new site. So from here, it will give you a few templates. You can choose a blank canvas if you want, but you can also choose a portfolio, an event, a help center, a project or a team template that you can use for your site. And also down here at the bottom, you can find sites that you've previously made if you have already. So for this instance, we're just going to choose a blank page. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how you can set up your own customized website. So go ahead and click on blank. And then once it loads, it will look a little something like this. So on the right hand side here, here's where our elements are, our text box, our images, our embedding and our Google Drive. Below that, we can find content blocks. These are basically things you can drag into a website like this. And as you can see here, this one shows a picture on the left and text on the right. And that's exactly what it is when you paste it in. You can put in a picture here, you can type in the text and you can put a description in at the bottom. So you basically just want to look through the content blocks and see which one suits you best. Now there's also a load of cool other things you can add here. You can add some buttons if you want. You can add some social links. You can add your YouTube link if you've got a YouTube channel. There's really tons of things you can add to this. So while we're on this insert tab, if we head over to the right a little bit, we can find a tab called themes. And these are basically themes that have been pre-made by Google. So at the moment, I'm on the simple one, which we can just change the color of if we want. We can also go ahead and change the font style if we want it looking a bit different. And then we can also change the theme to something else. So we're going to skip through these and see which one suits us best. And we can look for the most professional one for our affiliate website. So I actually quite like this one in white, so I'm going to keep it like this. However, there is an option to create your own themes or also import your themes. So if you find a theme somewhere else that you like, you can go ahead and import it here. Or you can click this add button to create your own theme. However, I quite like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. So let's get started in actually making the website for your Amazon affiliate. So to start with, we're first going to title this. So we're going to remove this, your page title. And we're just going to type it something to do with Amazon. So Amazon deals or something like that. You want to basically... You want to make it a bit more unique and call it something that people can trust and when they come into your site and they read your title and then just automatically trust you. So something similar to this but a bit more professional would probably work better. And then in the top left corner here you can enter your site name. So so if you do affiliate you might have tons of different websites you have each for each website. So this one would be called Amazon deals. You might have another one called Spotify deals or something like that. So what you want to do is just type in either your name or your brand name here. But since I don't have one, I'm just making it for the tutorial. I'm just going to type in James. So what you can also do here is add a logo if you have one. This will make your website seem a lot more professional and it will definitely make people trust you a lot more. So go ahead and do that. Type in your name or logo and type in your title. So once you've done that, you want to head over to an insert tab and we want to go down to content blocks, which we were looking at earlier. Now, this will depend on how your site is actually structured. You may be selling multiple products, in which case something like this could work better. You could have a range of different things straight on your first page so that people so that when people load up your website, they can see these four things and hopefully get interested and click on your link to go and buy them. However, in this instance, I'm just going to choose this one in the top left here, which is perfect for a single product store. So what we're going to do is just left click on it and then drag it under here. And as you can see, it's now been added. So it's now got to the point where we have to add in the Amazon product. So I'm just going to head over to Amazon and I'll be back with you in a second. 
So you're going to want to choose a product with a high rating and also something that people will want to use and happily pay for. So this ring doorbell is a good example of this product as this is gaining tons of popularity and you see these on a lot of houses nowadays and it also has a really good rating. So when people come from your website over to Amazon, they'll hopefully see that rating and they'll also see this discount and hopefully be attracted to buy it. So you do have to make sure your product is eligible for the Amazon affiliate deal. So just check that out first and make sure it is. And then once you're done, we can get started. So I'm just going to choose this photo here without the text as it makes it look a bit more professional, a bit more of a product photo. What you can do is save this image straight from Amazon, but sometimes it's a bit hard to find. So what I'm going to do is just type this into Google and then hopefully find a picture on here on images, which I can then save to my computer to use as the product photo. So this is a nice professional looking image. So I'm just going to right click on it and then select save image as. So from there, you just want to save it to your computer. And then once you've done that, you can head back to your site and then on this on this bit here where it wants you to add a photo, you can just click this plus and then you just want to paste in the photo that you just took. As you can see now, I've pasted this photo in. It is getting cut off a bit. So what we can do here is just expand it a bit. And then when we let go, as you can see, we can see the full product now and it looks a lot more professional. So then what we want to do is head back into the Amazon site and we can copy all of this if we want. However, it's just going to look a bit messy. So I recommend just copy in this bit here you can also do the buy amazon as well just to get people to trust it a bit more however i'm just going to choose this one for this example so copy that and then head back to your site and then head back to your site and in here where the title is you can just paste that and that is now done now you may not like the text as you can see it doesn't actually look too professional right now so we can just look at all these different um we can look at all these different fonts and we can just choose one which we like so I'm just going to choose Montserrat as it's quite a nice looking font. And there we go. That looks a lot more professional. So what we can also do is make this bold if we wanted to, to make it stand out a bit more. And we could also raise up the text size if we want. But because that cuts like that, and since that cuts down, doesn't look very good. We're just going to drag this along a little bit. And oh, it's not let me there. So I'm just going to undo that and keep it at this size here, 18. So after you've done that, you can click here to edit the text. And here's where you want to add in the product description. So there's a big bit of text here. So what we want to do is just copy this description here and control C and then head back to your site and we can paste it in here. And it comes with the bullet points as well, which makes it look really good. And we are almost done. Now, the last thing we have to do is add in a link to buy. So what we want to do is click on our image here. And then look for this little option here, which means insert link. So when we click on that, it'll ask for a link. So we can head back to Amazon, make sure we're on the right page and copy this, paste it in here and go ahead and click apply. And now when this photo is clicked on your site, it'll be redirected to here, which is the thing we were just looking at on Amazon. So something else I'd recommend to do, which can help people buy is add in a button at the bottom. So I'm just going to click button here. And I'm going to call it buy now. And then in link, we just want that link that we just pasted in the same one to Amazon and we can click insert. That's put it down there automatically and it looks a bit weird down there. So I'm just going to drag it and put it at the bottom of this box. And as you can see, this is looking a lot more professional now. And we can even edit some stuff in the button if we want, such as this. However, I quite like it like this. And that is our product page done for this. So now you can publish this site, which you can do in the top right corner, click publish. And here is where you have to type in your web address. So ideally for this, you'd want your own custom domain. So, so what that would mean is people can type in www.jamesesdeals or something like this.com. So when they type in or click your URL, they'd be taken to this site we just made. And then from there, they can easily go straight to Amazon with your link and then they can buy the product if they want to. And then once that is done, they can click on your photo to be able to view the link or they can click the buy now button. Both will take you to the same place. And then once you've got this main setup done, you can then keep adding products down below if you want, or you can add more sections like I said about earlier. You really just want to customize it how you like to make it look as professional as possible. The more professional it looks, the more likely someone is to buy. 
So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to create your Amazon affiliate website inside of Google Sites like we just did today. If you did find this video helpful, please comment down below to say that it helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.